hello, my name is Scott Ellis. I'm with WorldCat, and this is a 255 dual console. The 255 dual console is one of the highest produced models that WorldCat makes today. The advantages is uh, getting on plane at lower speed. Uh, with any boat, if you're not on plane, you have no control of the bow. So being able to slow down, get on plane at a slow speed, you have that ability to control the bow. If you have no control of the bow, you have no control of the boat. Being able to trim up, trim down in certain sea conditions is key to operating a boat. The World Cats and Glacier Bays have a ton of trimmability in the bow. Inside the cockpit of the 255 DC, you'll notice standard is a, a powder coated windshield. As you can see, with the dual console, it opens up in the center. Nice, easy way up to the bow. Now we have a Lumar Freefall 700 windlass. This comes standard on the boat. It comes with 300 feet of line, uh, 15 feet of chain. You look inside, it's got a tremendous anchor locker to store that line. Up and down foot switches here on the bow. Stepping back. <clears throat> Seating for six up in the bow. You can see the catamaran carries its beam farther forward, so it creates a tremendous amount of area on the bow. We've got a nice size port storage area, a center section here that's fully insulated. One thing about the World Cats, we use stainless steel piano hinges. All of our lids are gasketed, stainless steel locking latches and stainless steel struts. Inside the starboard storage compartment, it's, it's a tremendous amount of storage area. The storage compartment starts about right here. It goes all the way to the back of the helm. Inside, you can see it's, we have storage for nine rods. It's dry storage. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of possibilities that you can store items in this area. On the helm of the 255 DC, you've got a, a hydraulic tilt helm. You've got your accessory switches here, a standard fusion stereo, <clears throat> your windlass controls, your Yamaha ignition, and your Yamaha binnacle. After the wheel, you'll see a nice captain's seat, a flip down bolster, armrests on both sides that fold down. This is adjustable fore and aft. You have an adjustable foot rest that goes up and down. Also, you'll see twin USB phone charger plus two stainless steel cup holders. The passenger seat is exactly the same seat. Uh, it's got dual flip up armrests, bolster that flips up and down. This seat can slide forward and aft. It's got a lay down foot rest. Uh, in front of that, we've got this huge head opening. <clears throat> so you open the head door. One of the advantages of a catamaran is our depth is on the side. So we have a tremendous amount of headroom for a 25 foot dual console. Inside, we've got an electric porcelain head with a freshwater fill. 255 DC comes standard with a powder coated hardtop frame, fiberglass hardtop, JL audio speakers up top, switching for LED lights, switching for LED spreader lights. Inside the cockpit of the 255 DC, we have a port and starboard rear facing seat. On the port side, open up the latch, lift up the lid, 200 quart insulated fish box. Starboard side, an ice blue 30 gallon insulated live well. Now, if you don't want to use that for a live well, it is insulated. You can use it to hold ice or use it as a dry storage. Continuing in the cockpit of the 255 DC on the port side, you'll see you have a waste pump out fill. The hard top has three tulip rod holders along the side. Along the gunnel, you'll have two rod holders, one angled, one straight. Gunnel height is about 26, 27 inches. Has a nice flip down seat in the corner, easy to operate. 12 volt plug that you can use for electric reels. Any 12 volt item, it comes with a plug that you can attach. Under the gunnel rod storage for two rods. <clears throat> Moving back to the center. Very convenient center walkthrough 
to the best ladder in the industry. Your battery management panel is a simple one switch operation on off. You can also go a quarter turn clockwise and that will combine both port and starboard batteries. Electrical plug-in for the optional battery charger. Two LED cockpit lights and a raw water wash down outlet. Starboard side of the 255 dual console inside the cockpit. You'll see three tulip rod holders on the powder cutter hardtop frame. Water fill for the water tank. Two rod holders, one angled, one straight out the back. 255 DC has six cleats along the sides. Pop-up stainless steel. It has two fuel fills, port and starboard. It's two independent tanks. They're 93 gallons a piece for a total of 186 gallons total. The 255 DC comes standard with 150 horsepower Yamaha engines with a top end of 47 miles an hour at 1.4 miles per gallon and a cruising speed of 25 miles an hour at 2.2 miles per gallon. 255 DC comes standard with a port side pull out freshwater shower. The uh, freshwater tank is 10 gallons. If you'd like to learn anything else on the 255DC or any other model that WorldCat makes, please visit worldcat.com.